Rancam, a well-known FPV camera manufacturer, is going to release its first digital rigs in the next few days. And not on closed system, but on an open IPC. Sounds cool? Let's find out. But what is open IPC? Initially, it was an open firmware on Linux for AP cameras, which later began to be used for FPV. It works on top of regular Wi-Fi with all its advantages and disadvantages. In my opinion, the big delay is displaying the image is not the main problem in this system. The main one is how issues the packet lost or poor connection look like. This is either a screen freeze for one or two seconds or image distortion. Moreover, these problems do not occur somewhere far away but at absolutely random times, even 50 meters away from you on an open field. This greatly limits the areas of use. If you fly races or complex elements in abandoned buildings, then such a lock at an unfortunate moment can cost you a drone. However, all this is compensated by the price. The new rigs from Rancom costs only 100 bucks. And the real rigs itself doesn't consist any closed developments. Inside it there is a Raksa Zero and a couple of Wi-Fi chips, and if you want you can assemble this at home yourself. But the version that I got at the pre-release has a serious problem. HDMI out couldn't work with any of the goggles that I had. HD Zero, Sky Zone, etc. All my monitors at home and of course TVs. And yes, of course I changed cables, firmware and everything possible to make it work. The only screen it agreed to start with was my on-camera monitor. But yes, what I'm absolutely sure of is that when Rancom fixes the HDMI connection problem, open IPC will gradually begin to capture the economy segment market, where all these limitations are not so important. And then the question will arise, who will be the first to release a full-fledged open IPC goggles?